Nene has got his first points of the night. Bucky touched on this when talking about Melo. How can this Denver team get over the hump and finally make a finals appearance? Well, they've got to stay healthy. We talk about that all the time. They need more depth up front, consistency from their role players, and Carmelo Anthony has to simply do what he's been doing. The shooting woes continue here. One of five, just one of five, and I know they were hoping to get off to a faster start than that. And after that first miss, they're three of four. They're trying to run them out of the building right now. Now here's Nowitzki. And here's Haywood working on Martin. Now Haywood. A miss three. 158 left in the third quarter. Goes up. Phillips, no good. Once he gets it inside, Kevin, he's really a good finisher. That's a good effort defensively to force the miss. Kid kicks the butt. The dump off. Haywood backing down. And it's Martin picking him up. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. I think he's really starting to lose confidence in his shot. Those misses are getting to him. One thing you always take a look at is trends from year to year, Clark. And for the Mavericks, they won 28 at home last season. Now, that number was down from their 0-9 total when they won an incredible 32 games. But they won more games overall, Kevin, which shows you that this is a team that has no problem taking care of business on the road. Nice anticipation right there to snatch that one. Here is Billups. Denver calls timeout. This is their second game playing the Mavericks this season. And the last time, boy, it was a real aggressive game against these guys. Got them into a lot of foul trouble by attacking the basket, and they ended up with a decisive win. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Take a look at Nene. So solid around the basket. Currently third in the league. You know, nobody said this guy couldn't miss last season. And because he was such a good percentage shooter, one of the best in the league, his teammates always were looking for him. Ronaldo Balkman is checked in for the Nuggets. Lawson comes in for J.R. Smith. Here's Kidd. Butler on the way. Over Bulkman. And it's Butler missing. This is a two-for-one opportunity. Let's see how they play the clock. Back to Billups. Karan Butler covering. Here is Bulkman. Defended by Butler. Five to shoot. Haywood is tagged with the reach. That's foul number two for him. Here's Lawson. No points for him. Here's Billups. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Here's Kid. They'd be smart to hold it now for the last shot. He dumps it off. Lawson defending. Kid. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's a well-used foul there to prevent the easy layup, Kevin. Okay. The first one falls. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Here's Billups. From deep three-point range, no good on that last second attempt there. And so this one is tightly contested as we end the third.
Coming up next Thursday night, Kobe Bryant and the Los Angeles Lakers go up against Carmelo Anthony. As the fourth quarter gets rolling, let's check in with the third member of our team, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Hey, Kevin, we've seen the spark in this game come from Carmelo Anthony. He's been a one-man wrecking crew out there for his team as his inspired play has really fueled the fire for his club. Should be a fun fourth quarter to watch, guys. Thank you, Doris. You know, Clark, give me your thoughts igniting his team much of the way. Well, just a man on a mission, Kevin. His goal is not to let his team lose if he can help. Marion and Dirk make up the forwards. Then there's Haywood. Then it's Boba and Jones. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Back to Nowitzki. And that's good, getting that one off the nice assist. Nowitzki's got his second basket of the game. Nuggets trail. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. Nene, the screen. And here's Anthony for three. Kept alive. The shot by Nene. No good. Great defense there. Challenged the path of the shooter, which caused the miss. Haywood kicks to Nowitzki. Picked up by Harrington. And the basket by Nowitzki. Here's Lawson. 2.58 left in the fourth. Nowitzki gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. Both teams deciding to change it up. Here is Billups. Back to Harrington. Let's go with a three. And the rebound goes to Jason Terry. Mavericks leading by three. Right side, Terry. And count that bucket right there. He keeps with it, and now a free throw shot for him. I really thought they did a better job, a much better job, of getting it inside in the first half. They've got to get back to throwing it in the paint more here in the second. And he makes the free throw. Here is Billups. 2.34 left in the game. Smith to stop the run. The basket good off the assist from Billups. Smith's got his first bucket of the night. Here are the Mavericks now. Four-point game. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Can't really say a lot of good things about areas of their play. Not great offensively. Not great defensively either. Five on the clock. Here's Kidd. Great play to stay with him. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Denver calls timeout. They're losing by six. 159 left in the fourth. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what George Carl was saying to the team. He told them, we can't quit now, guys. We're going to find a way to win this thing. Our fans are pulling for us. Our families are as well. We're going to make them proud. Let's go out there and show them exactly what we're made of. Here's Billups. Back to Harrington. Picked up by Nowitzki. Harrington can't get that one to fall. Mavericks leading by six. Here's Terry. Nowitzki outside. Back to Terry. It's taken away by Smith. And Kev, that's only his first giveaway for the game. Mm. Scooped up. And he lays that one up. Smith's got his second basket of the night. And the Mavericks call time here. They're in front by four. 130 left in the game. And making a change here, the Mavericks. Haywood's checked in. Denver also making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Anderson. Martin comes in for Al Harrington. 
And Carmelo Anthony subbed in for Ronaldo Balkan. Kid passes to Terry. To the wing. Haywood guarded by Nene. 13 feet out. Knocks it loose. That shot didn't have a chance. He doesn't have the softest touch, and the defense was in his jersey. Gotta look for a better shot. Takes it up. Anthony's shot is off. He's been AWOL this quarter. And his team is down in the need of some scoring from him. He hasn't shown up. Less than one minute left. Now he would inside. Big mistake. Turned it over in that situation, Kevin. Anthony. And that's laid up and in. Here's Kid. The Mavericks have a chance to put this one out of reach. The jump off. Smith against Terry. Up top, Haywood. Connects. Oh, that's much in the clutch. They needed that one, Kev. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're down by four. 26 seconds left to the fourth. Here's Smith. And so they go with the intentional foul. They're not yet in the penalty, so they'll need to commit a second foul to send them to the line. Here's Kidd. And there's the whistle as they commit the intentional foul. That's the right move. Stop the clock and hope they make a mistake you can take advantage of. Sinks the first one, and that puts them up by five. Two for two, and it's a six-point ball game. Big foul there. He hits the clutch free throws and pads their lead. Denver calls timeout. They're trailing by six. 18 seconds left in the game. Mark, what do you think? You have to be impressed by their tenacity. Still fighting, but the odds are definitely not in their favor. They need to hit a quick shot here, preferably a three, and then foul. Here's Anthony, off the inbound pass. Anthony missing again, and there's the intentional foul. <laughs> off target on the first. Sinks the second, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They trail by seven. 13 seconds left to the fourth. Clark, what are your thoughts? They're still trying to claw their way back into this game, but it's futile right now. It would take a couple of miracles for them to win this one. From downtown, again, the miss by Anthony. And here is Nowitzki. Here's Butler. No good. So we see the Mavericks get the win here. They came, they saw, they conquered. Hey, Kevin, to me, any win is a good win. Well, it's time to say so long. For Clark Kellogg, Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to present our Jordan Brand Player of the Game, Jason Kidd.